good morning YouTube thank you for joining me um, it is an absolutely beautiful day today it's quite chilly but it's a beautiful uh, November morning now I'm a little bit mad with myself because um, last night the Met Office that's the people that tell us about weather gave out a uh, yellow weather warning um, for the southwest including Devon and uh, basically what that meant was that there was going to be thick fog right across the region until about 8 o'clock this morning there's still some of it lingering about but the point I'm making is is that I missed it I didn't get up in time and it really was spectacular so there's going to be some people that have been out this morning that will have gotten some amazing shots and uh, I missed it because I didn't get up I didn't leave the house until about 9 so no misty shots for me however the light is really nice it's very soft and um, there's not a breath of wind so that could be ideal to shoot some trees I wonder how many of you, um, when you just saw that shot of me taking my camera bag off, or the earlier shot where I was walking away from that camera, realised that uh, I hadn't brought this with me. I only just realised as I took my uh, camera bag off. Luckily I haven't walked that far from the car, so I ran back to get it. That's not a good start, is it? forget something as important as that how well's the shoot gonna go we shall see So I framed up this little uh, vignette here on the uh, on the bank of the uh, of the reservoir here, and um, it's just some really nice twisty uh, branches from this tree hanging over into the water, and the water is perfectly still. There's not a breath of wind. There's no ripples in the water. So I'm going to try a shot with. Um, 
emphasis on reflection so I'm not putting the polarizer on because I want as much reflection as possible I want as much detailed reflection in the top of the water as possible because at the moment it's like a mirror um, the lights very very soft it's perfect it's quite flat actually so um, we're not getting any uh, highlights that we don't want or anything like that and I'm actually trying the shot in black and white as you can see I've got the camera quite low down my usual uh, f-stop and ISO settings 11 and 50 uh, that's given me that's given me a sixth of a second and I'm going to recheck my focus because I've just noticed that the the autofocus and the image stabilization on the lens was switched on so I'm underexposing by just a little bit um, because I want a, quite a high contrast shot two second timer and there we go and what I'm going to do is I'm going to underexpose even more so a whole stop There we go. Fast now. I was just shooting that boat. Yeah. Right, the shot I've just taken, um, I can't really talk you through it anymore because um, they've now gone. Oh yeah, I saw them going now. I wasn't involved with that. Where where the boat was situated, yeah. right through the middle of it, and everything's changed now. The the whole sea's changed. They've obviously gone. The ripples now, but just for a few seconds, that silver birch over there where the waterfall comes in, yeah, yeah. the boat was positioned perfectly so that, that tree was centered, so you got the reflection of the boat and the silver birch in the water. So that was lucky because they've gone now. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to make this my uh, my final shot today. So the whole area now is clouded over, and um, the light's not as good as it was. So I'm going to take this one last shot because I quite like it. Um, and then that is it. And I might just um, 
put the camera in portrait mode see if it looks better see if I can refine this composition a bit to make it look a little better I'm going to zoom in so that I don't get much in the way of sky in the shot and I think that is what I'm after right so I've, uh, I've framed up the shot um, I've changed my aperture to f16 because it's quite a deep shot um, so I'm shooting way into the distance okay so what I've got here is we've got this uh, oak tree uh, and it's you can see it's completely covered in this beautiful moss and then we've got the V here and then as you look through the V there's some trees uh, further into the scene that cross over and kind of frame the path into the distance and then the path is um, has trees either side of it that lean over into the path and then we've got all these beautiful red and orange and brown leaves all over the floor so that's what I'm shooting so as I said I'm at f16 my uh, SO50 as always underexposed by one stop so that we get nice high contrast there we go I've also got the polarizer on now what that does as, as I've discussed before what that does it um, saturates the colors a little bit and takes the uh, takes the glare and reflection off any wet ground or wet leaves Thank you very much for watching. I uh, hope you like the video. I uh, hope you like the photographs. Please leave a comment. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next video.